The main point of Mark Carney's speech is that the Bank of England is going to look beyond interest rates to control the economy. For example, he said, the bank might look to change the underwriting standards of banks to make sure they don't start lending willy-nilly to customers if the mortgage market takes off. Or even, if the housing market takes off even further, they might put controls on the size of loans that banks can offer customers. Now this really shows the power of the new governor, because some of these measures are not even controlled by the bank's main policy making committees, the Monetary Policy Committee and the Financial Policy Committee. Some of the measures, for example the measures that are aimed directly at individual banks, really come under the power of the governor himself, Mark Carney, and it really shows how powerful this new governor and the new Bank of England is. Mark Carney was extremely optimistic about the UK economy. He talked about Christmas cheer, how the hopes and dreams of the festive season are being fulfilled, and he talked about how the UK is now the fastest growing economy in the G7 group of leading nations. This is in marked contrast to his predecessor, Lord King, and will come as a bit of a surprise to many households, because living standards, as Robert Choate, the chairman of the Office for Budget Responsibility, also made clear, are not rising and haven't been rising for many years. So while the Bank of England governor is extremely optimistic, and his optimism is rooted in economic data, it's not being felt by families across the UK. Mark Carney's comments on interest rates and what he will do instead of raising interest rates I think is really important for the debate about forward guidance. In the summer we heard a lot about the bank wouldn't raise interest rates until unemployment fell to 7%. But now we know that unemployment is falling much faster than the bank expected. I think the impression we're getting now is the bank isn't going to raise interest rates even when unemployment falls well below 7%. And that's because they found unemployment is not behaving as they thought. So really the guidance is more that the Bank of England is going to keep interest rates low for a long time rather than it's particularly linked to any variable in the UK economy.